Um, a summary of our entire trip here. Um, the, the guide on our trip, Kunchuk, was amazing, and the driver was incredibly professional. It's hard to find in China. Sometimes they're just whipping around the turns and you feel like you're going to die the whole way. Um, this guy was actually really, really good. Uh, Kunchuk was super informative. His English was great. Um, as, a, as a teacher, like, I couldn't believe some of the words that he knew. Uh, and he's, uh, he's local, he's a Buddhist, he's, I believe he grew up here. Um, he was always helpful when we were feeling sick from the altitude, um, anything like that. And um, any question I had, he answered. Lycoris was our HR manager, and she was there always to answer our questions. I was bugging her on WeChat all the time, at night, on weekends, even during holiday one time. She got a little touchy one time when I kept bugging her on holiday, but in the end it was, it was great. Perfect customer service. The hotels were great, don't worry about it. Uh, you don't even have to bring toiletries or a towel or anything like that. They have all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, the only night that's a little dodgy is the, the night on near Everest Base, Everest Base Camp, but you know that's the reason you come. Uh, there's uh, a lot of things that people were, there's small things that people complained about that the company can't do anything about. Like um, we're driving on the bus and we have to kind of stop on the side of the road and if you're a woman, you might have to get comfortable with the idea of peeing on the side of the road behind a rock somewhere. Nothing to do to avoid it, because the, other, the only other option is to stop at a toilet that smells like hell. So, honestly, just get over it. You'll be fine. Um, the trip is only eight days, so a lot is jammed into it. We spent almost four full days, like 12 hours each, on the bus. And um, it's not the best experience, but we do stop at really beautiful ways, with uh, really beautiful scenery along the way. Um, you're kind of entertained by talking to other people, things like that. Uh, people even played Cards Against Humanity. Um, so the last day was a little like, uh, get me off this bus. But again, nothing the tour company could do about that. you got to get across the country somehow. The only way to avoid uh, that, all that time on the bus is um, do like a 20-day tour instead of like an 8-day tour like we did. We did that because that was our holiday. We were here during the uh, October break in China, the uh, Moon Festival. And um, if you have the time and you have the money, take the, take the longer trip. It's easier on the altitude sickness probably. You'll get over it and then enjoy yourself. Uh, you won't have as much time on the bus. But uh, this is what we were dealt with. We'd recommend uh, Tibet Vista because our experience with them was great. Uh, the website, I think, is uh, Tibet, tibettravel.org. Um, like I said, the, uh, the HR leading up to it and the guides were amazing. The accommodation was great. No complaints that they could have, uh, there's really nothing they could have changed. Um, only breakfast is free. I would, it w would be nicer maybe if they had uh, some, some uh, paid meals, other paid meals along the way, but they were so cheap. Uh, most of the time we paid like uh, 30 RMB each for a meal, which is like... Uh, $4, something like that, so don't worry about that.